Hey guys, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. So today I'm going to be introducing a brand new brand to you. The new brand is called All Heart. You have probably seen them on Instagram. They are a new eight free formula polish company, which I'm super excited about. So they're releasing things a little differently than most brands. So I'm going to kind of explain that throughout this video and show you their first limited edition polish and explain all of that out to you. So let's get started. So here we have a look at the polishes that have been released. There are three right now and there's a top coat called Act Together, a base coat called Make a Difference, and then the limited edition polish called Hint of Hope. Now Hint of Hope is like the monthly special, so that is the collaboration that All Heart has collaborated with this month, and this one is with the National Breast Cancer Foundation, so a dollar from each sale actually of any of these will be going to that charity. So that's great because we always love polish with a cause. And the polishes are going to change every month. So next month there will be a new polish with a new foundation that they will be supporting. So once the hint of hope is gone, it is gone. It is a limited edition polish and it won't be coming back. However, the base and top coat will always be around and they will also have that dollar going towards the certain foundation that she is working with at the time. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you All Hearts first polish and it is called Hint of Hope. It is in honor of breast cancer research and a dollar from each polish will be donated to that. I will have information about that in the description box below. This is a curly polish. As you can see, there is one coat. It has pretty good distribution of glitters. It's a very like pale pink base. And then we've got pink glitters in there that are little. We've got pink big ones. We've got silvery big ones. And I think that is it. I don't see any of like little silver ones. I just see little like pink ones and they're really pretty. This goes on really nice actually. So there is one coat. Okay, now that that is dry, it is time to put on our second coat. Ah, I got a little glitter over too far. But I'm really happy with that second coat, honestly. Like, I feel like I have full coverage. I am doing them a little thinner than I usually would. Just because this is the first time I've seen this. This is truly like a first impressions video. And so far I'm pretty impressed because most Crellies need, at least most Crellies that I have worked with need more than two coats. But I'm pretty happy with this second coat so far. Also, just so you know, I had a base coat on when we started. I am actually using a peel-off base coat because I have a cut on this hand and I am trying to avoid using nail polish remover as much as possible because that would really sting. So I do have a peel-off base, but I am going to be testing out the new All Heart base because so far, from what I can tell, I really like it because it's like a sticky base, so it should last really well. So I'm going to be testing that on my other hand and reporting back to you guys soon. So there is two coats of Hint of Hope and I am really happy. So I'm going to let that dry and we are going to come back in a bit and try the new All Heart top coat, which is called Act Together. Okay. So while I was off camera waiting for this to dry, I looked at it, you know, from a few different angles and I could tell that there's a little sheer streak here, a little one in the center of that nail. So I am going to go ahead and do a thin, thin third coat. So this polish will probably be labeled as a two to three coats. 
for full coverage. It's really going to depend on how thick you do. I think if I did the coats my normal thickness from the beginning, I'd probably be okay with two. But I did them thin as I do with any new polish just to ensure, you know, to learn how to use the polish. And I think this one would be okay in two, but due to the fact that I did thinner coats than I'm used to, this is going to call for three, I believe. So it's going on really nicely, wonderfully, and I'm really liking this. I can't say that I have ever really been a huge curly fan, but I am really liking how cute and girly this one looks. I mean, it's just, it's happy. I usually go for the curlies that have like the little shimmers, little glitters, little shimmers, no, little glitters in them, just because they're like calmer, if that makes any sense, but I'm actually really liking the bigger ones in this, and I feel like it's super fun. So now I'm going to let that coat dry, and then we will be trying out the top coat. Okay, it is now at time for top coat, and this top coat is called Act Together, and it is an eight free formula. There's like no scent with this, like at all. I'm not picking up any nail polish scent, so that's interesting. Okay, now that it's been opened a little bit more, I get a very, very faint hint, but that's that's kind of nice. Because I know some top coats, you know, they have major scents. Like I know there's one that I use that has almost a dry erase board marker scent. Then others that are just like strong nail polish in them. I have this one though that smells like sweet sugar or something and it's great. But this one, I really don't notice much of a scent so that is nice so that there is a one coat and it does look like it is going to be very glossy so that's exciting and i will check back with you and let you guys know if it dries down to be a textured finish or not okay i have let the top coat dry and it actually dried really quick i didn't time it or anything but my nails already feel dry obviously i wouldn't do anything major that could put them at a denting risk because that's not something I do. But as far as I can tell, I can't feel the like glitters, which sometimes you can on Crowley's, but this seems to have evened everything out really nicely and it has a really nice shiny finish. So here is your final look at Hint of Hope. And here's your final look at the polish on. I feel like it looked really nice and it wore really nicely as well. As for the base and top coat, I am going to be testing that out on my other hand that I don't change every day. And we'll give you guys like an updated post on that soon in the near future. So if you wanted to know any more information about the brand, where the money is going to, I will have all of that in today's blog post, which you can find in the description box below. Also, for the fun of it, being Cancer Awareness Month and all, I decided I would go ahead and throw on the breast cancer ribbon in honor of that and just have a fun little mani out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you discovered something new that you guys might want to check out. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. So bye.